Hello and welcome to Be Open. We are at Las Vegas because that's where they are in real life this weekend. Now that the real NASCAR season's going on, uh, they're going to be following the real schedule if you were not aware of how that worked. Uh, we are the number two today, unfortunately. Um, not the worst uh, turnout here. Uh, still got stuck as the number two though. And uh, I'm missing some speed. And it's all on me. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm having a little trouble keeping this thing under control. It's pretty loose early in the run, which is good because it gets tighter later. But uh, just kind of have, uh, have been having trouble keeping it under control. So I think this first lap I'm going to do here, I'm going to, for the most part, just try to get a solid lap in. Ooh, a little loose there. Uh, get a solid lap in and then maybe push a little bit more of the next lap. So it's kind of a good way to do it. Very loose though on the cold tires. So I'm trying to be very careful. Cut the apron here, get a little bit of extra time. At least that'll be a solid lap before we go in for the kill. Because <laughs> then I'm going to die. <laughs> but hey, I made it through turns one and two. How about three and four? Alright, I survived. That's a full... Tenth or so better than my uh, previous best. Still not that great though. I'm pretty far off from the fastest guys. I just I can't hold it steady. Um, maybe the setup's built for longer runs in mind, so I might be uh, extra loose starting out, which makes uh, you know qualifying laps a little more difficult. I also didn't put tape on it. This is just the tape, uh, the race tape. So I feel like with a little extra practice, I could have pushed it a little harder, maybe gotten a better lap. But uh, that's all right. Probably going to be patient in the race anyway. Curious about this upper line, this higher line. Maybe I should have tried that for qualifying. But uh, not so sure. It seems like maybe that middle line is where you do want to be. A temperature warning, but I'm not concerned about that. This crew chief's extra sensitive about all that. Yeah, I just don't feel too fast. Most guys are able to uh, just flat foot it and fight the loose. I'm usually pretty decent at fighting the loose, but I've been having trouble here. I've got my steering ratio at 14 to 1 for a little bit of extra control, but uh, keeping it higher to prevent myself from yanking the wheel around. I've kind of migrated from doing mostly 16 to 1 to mostly 14 to 1. That's been doing fine for me. Wow, 16th. That's really bad. I'm going to be uh, gonna be in the back. I'm probably going to have to just be patient and let the race come to me. I knew I was missing some time. I didn't know I was missing that much. We are almost slowest. Like I said, it's uh, this car is very loose early on, so I'm hoping that it'll uh, it'll be better long run. So that's how we'll approach it too. Uh, we'll approach it with long run in mind. Be nice with the tires, all that stuff, all that good stuff, and see where it brings us. Seventeenth now. <laughs> Seems like just about everyone's qualifying. Not too many people choosing to start in the back, I don't think. Let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So best is 29.8. Like, this 30.3 is the best I've done. And that's not very good, so... Huh. Might just not have it here at Vegas. 
That's the end of the session. Be 18. Guess everyone's ready to go. Alright, we're all the way in the back. Just have to be patient. Guess we're ready to go. I did practice green flag pit stops. Um, didn't have trouble with that in the open race. And it's pretty similar uh, marker on the track that I'm looking at for when to uh, start slowing down. Didn't really have any trouble with it, so should be alright there. Crew chief ready. Three sets of tires. Or three extra sets of tires, rather. We're in the back. And most of the people behind us here are people that did not qualify, so hopefully they'll be patient. If not, we'll let them go. If you didn't see my C open race, I recommend it. It was pretty good. At least uh, watch the final uh, pit stops there where I decided to take two tires and gamble that, do some Vegas gambling. So that made it pretty exciting for the finish. Um, in that race I was running in the back pretty much the whole time, about 16th. So, uh, you know, being patient there paid off. Might not always pay off, but at least we were able to stay out of the wrecks and be there at the end. Sometimes that's all you need. So we'll do a little bit of the same here. Just be patient and try to keep it clean. Bit of a cloudy day here in Vegas. You have three additional Partly cloudy. At least we won't have sun in our That's eyes. Right. Make the track a little cooler the too. Is 65 Fahrenheit. Follow car number eight in the We're outside. Off rolling. One to green. Imagine we could get a wreck early on with the looseness. I have heard people say it's been pretty clean though, so maybe we'll just go straight green. Not so sure about that though. There are a couple names I'm a little concerned about, nothing overly so. There's a couple guys I've uh, raced against before and uh, have run into trouble. Hopefully they have a better race than uh, what I've seen in the past. And uh, we'll, we'll start back here in 18th and just uh, hopefully uh, finish better than where we started. See how it goes. About to go green. Stay focused. Okay, okay carry on. Relax. Time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Mm, I probably did not get a very good jump. The car inside. Still there. Keep high. Clear. Oh, that's a spinner. Don't come up. Yeah, we're good. They saved it. That was a good save. Yep, there's a lot of looseness going on here. Inside. Nice one. Uh, I'm not liking this. Inside. Clear. Hmm, that guy almost got the wall. Probably could have been a bit more patient there. Might have found myself in trouble, but uh, just keeping an eye on them, and they looked like they were going to save it. I guess we got some free spots. What's that for what that's worth, but it's early, so maybe I need to calm my jets a little bit here. The next car is 
tires. Next to these tires. So far, so good though. Gained seven spots already. Some guys uh, getting loose and all that. I do want to try to fight the loose a little bit so that way the right rear is getting some action, but I want to get too loose and uh, regret it. This guy's going for the pass on the outside. He's going to use up some tire to do so. Can go ahead. Clear high. In no hurry. Think the fuel window will open on lap. About drive. It'll close on lap 55. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Keep low. I'd like to let this guy by. Clear out drive. Go. Trying to be nice to the tires right now. Just get it real slow and low. Inside. Mm, that guy's getting way too close to us. Kind of that guy behind us. This nine is so slow. Mid corner. And what the deal is with that? I didn't even want to try to get below him there, but he just wasn't running the bottom. The lap time was at thirty-one point one. All right, easy does it. Loosen my grip on the wheel just a tiny bit because I've been gripping it pretty hard so far. Things have been pretty tense. I get to below these bumps if I can in the corner. They're down on the low side, but if you get real close to the white line, you can kind of put them between your tires and miss them a bit place. if you get uh, low enough so that's what I tried to do there kind of just pushing this guy uh, with the draft I need to try to pass him right away unless he gets uh, even slower through the corners but uh, he seems to have uh, kind of picked it up a little bit Really just seems like three and four that he's slower. One and two he seems fine. So I'll click some laps off here. No need to fight for anything. At the moment, so. Watching this three though, he's been uh, not leaving very much room while driving. Makes me nervous, so be aware of where he's choosing to be. Feeling pretty good though, in a rhythm. Car's feeling fine. Found a nice spot here. I 
hopefully this will be good in the long run. Theory was that this was a car setup for the long run. We'll see if that turns out to be true. Got to do my job and not overdrive it as well, though. Your lap time was 31.3. But hey, after that uh, quick couple of slides in the first lap, as I kind of predicted, uh, we've been clean so far. There were no cautions brought out from the people getting loose. So maybe we will get a nice long run. So far, so good. 15 laps in or so. It's nice to have some draft. That's cool. A little bit extra time we're getting out of it. A little bit counts. Better than fighting side by side. Bumps got me a little bit up the track there. Didn't hit him very good that time. I'm going for a pass, I guess. Kind of a twitchy move he made. You just done that one point five. Up there, I have to go side by side. Okay, this guy's taking the middle line. Runs into me. Cool. Thanks, dude. And I'll bring out the caution. He wrecked himself by bouncing off me. Giving us a 2x because they hit the inside. I assume. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Never wanted to. Forgot I had that muted. Well. Pit road's open. Guy wrecks himself off of us. He got tight, I guess, and just kept his foot in it. That'll mean tires. That'll mean fuel fix any damage we might have. Didn't seem like he hit us very hard, but we'll see if it did anything. The leader, Miller, is pitting. What's your speed limit in the pits? Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Box in, five, four, Three, two, one, box now. Dude! 1.8. We're not going to bother with that. That's probably not affecting us at all. Go, go, go! Okay. 88 and 90. Hmm. Pretty even, but we had uh, worse tires than someone else said they had. 
So that's interesting. Excuse me. Who was the 18 that uh, we got into? Jetson Cope. Oh, sorry that happened to him. I couldn't go uh, up much higher at all, though. Looks like he just missed the uh, entrance of the corner a little bit. He had ended up in the middle lane and uh, couldn't get it turning well enough to keep it off of me. Guessing that's what happened. We only we got less than two seconds from it though, and we even got a fraction of it taken care of. So any effect that's going to have on us is minimal. Sub one. Come on, man. I don't know why it's a pet rope, but that's my bad, dude. We're in 10th? I guess we passed some people on pit road. Yeah, that was me. Spun me around. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm a dirt driver. I don't even know how that works. for your third time. The insides may be considering first gear start. I'm just doing second gear. We got plenty good enough jump at the on the initial start. About to go green. Stay focused. Didn't quite see what happened behind us. I don't know if anyone else got caught up in that. I do know that uh, the guy must have hit the wall. Car is off. Be ready. That, the guy that got into us. Else gets loose. Take three water under. And the guy below us sure did. Come on. I'm being too aggressive, but I'm kind of having fun. So. Dude, I'm right behind you. What do you want me to do? I checked up as soon as I thought you get loose. Inside. Still inside. Next time I'll just dump you. Coming up in front of us. Okay. Pretty sketchy up here. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it through this whole race. I feel like I should probably not be up here, but oh, oh man. Outside? No. Really good runs off the corner. Maybe I should be uh, lighter on the throttle on exit. Almost drifted up into that 13. I look scary for a moment. Hmm. Intense racing.
Be careful around the apron. When I watched Gavin's race, he kind of got his left sides on there, and it really upset his car for a moment. He ended up loose on the uh, front stretch. Oh man, really got upset by the uh, with bumps there. This is much too aggressive for this point in the race. I feel like I don't have much of a choice. They're kind of all, all over me. Team's on the apron, that's bad. I'm gonna get stuck behind him for a second. Well, he kind of drifts up. Nice, right, in front of us now. Oh boy, this is intense. Wow, that 14 almost really took out the 9 there. Definitely in a position where I think we're burning off the tires, unfortunately. I just... <laughs> I can't get run over from behind. I, I'm trying to lift and be nice to the tires in the corner, but I'm going to absolutely get run over if I do it any less, I feel like. I mean, the car still feels good, though. It's still early in this run, but wait. Why is the 15 swerving on the straightaway? Oh, my God. Easy does it, my man. Right, we're in 12th. It's not too bad. Seems like it's calmed down a little bit. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Wreck and 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 wreck in the front stretch. Check out your 17, there's a lot of cars here. 7.5 gallons. We're under caution, pits are closed. We're gonna come and get fuel. And tires. Yeah. Four. That's the same, man. Just when I thought it was calming you down. <laughs> I was looking forward to racing you once I got up there. Everybody's so fucking impatient. Not a goddamn lap race. Yeah, I can agree with that. You say that again. I'm being impatient too. Normally I try not to be impatient, but I just, uh. It's way too much energy around me.
We're gonna take tires. I think there's a chance to go. Right there. Trying to be smart and kind of dig at the same time. It's hard. Your engine temperatures are okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Engine the racing so far. The leader, Adams, is pitting. Watch your speed. We might be able to make enough fuel. I'm gonna see what it says. Let's stop again to get to the end. Box in five, four, three. Two, one, box now. All right, tires were a good call, I think. Move it, move it. We pushed it a little bit on. Speed there a second. Damn it, chicken! I wanted to, man. But let's just don't know. They want you in single file. Left us thirteen. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Pass This guy, back Car. off! I beat you out of pit road. Thank you. <laughs> you nervous? Two gallons. Two gallons. We can save that. Catch about 13, car. 2.1 gallons. It's are open. Four. Yeah, still not getting as much tire saving as everyone else, but, uh, it's fine. 2.1 gallons. Gallons. We'll drift around here for a little bit. That's close enough that I feel like I can make it. There was no right answer there. Half that 15 car. 1.7 gallons. And we'll keep a, an ear on that one. We might end up drifting back if uh, others aren't saving fuel as much as we are. Mm, it's going to be close though. 1.7 gallons. Yeah, it's gives me some leeway. These ones that I have to caution like every 15 minutes. I am not a big car guy. I race very short, short track races, and a lot of them. So none of the strategy that comes into play with these races makes sense to me. And so I just thought, we're going to get fuel. If we get two tires, if we get four tires, that leaves one set for if we get lucky. So that just didn't seem smart. So, I don't know. Took two tires, huh? There was no right answer, I think. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the next inside. Time. If I didn't get wrecked, I would have stayed out. And I was going to say, I think if you save the tires enough, you can get away with it. 1.4 gallons. Should be able to save enough, I think. What's the fuel window on these things? Oh, it's gonna be close. 1.4 gallons. I think we can make if it. If you are really conservative and not very fast, you can make it about 48 laps. But you're saving a lot to get that far, I think. So probably 40, 42? A lot harder than that, sure, for sure. About to go green, stay focused. 1.5 gallons. Pace car is off. Oh, not a great jump there, but it's okay. You're in the top 10. Have trouble seeing it. 
I'm gonna be on the low side this time, so. Be careful with the looseness. Come down to Ivy Wall. Clear, two wide, clear inside. Oh, almost got taken three wide there. Did not want that to happen. These guys are not being conservative. Holy smokes, that guy. Clear Trying to come up and kill me. <laughs> I had to move to the right a little bit. I don't know if that uh, helped me, but gee whiz. Five gallons we need to save. Pit window is now open. Okay, I got loose or got hit. Don't bother about that too. My fault. One point three gallons. Three gallons. It's a race to go. Time to save fuel. That was a I do want to try to save it now while I can, so I don't have to save it later. Hey, sorry, Josh. Well, I wasn't trying to pinch you down right there. I got entry it was a little bit too soon. I'm sorry about that, man. Oh, okay. I don't think you did anything wrong. That time was 31.8. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Say fuel when guys are making me so nervous. Doing good, keep it up. Six plus long distance. We estimate 43 laps of fuel remaining. Or something. Alright. One gallon. One gallon, that's it, huh? Doing pretty good then. Come on. Crashing. They want you in single file. Pit road. Oh, take that right to the bank. Race cars out. Line up single file. We're Behind pitting now. We didn't go long enough. It looks like Russell has stacked it. We're under caution. Pits are closed. There was a guy in front of me. Definitely okay on fuel now. Impatient. <laughs> Let's give ourselves plenty of fuel though, in case we get three green white checkers or something. Zero point eight gallons. Not coming in now though. We're good on fuel. Other guys might come in because they don't think they're good on fuel. And maybe they weren't saving as much as I was. But I think they should be fine. 
Especially with the uh, caution. Yeah, I'm guessing those guys back there are trying to get fuel or something, because I don't think we need tires yet. Definitely want to save that final set if we got a green-white checkered or something. Later in the race, we took our two we took two sets very early on. Thought we might have more green flag racing than that. Zero point four gallons. Zero point four gallons. Okay. Overtake We're in fifth place, at least we're kind of in front of where guys are going to be planning on wrecking, maybe. <laughs> Zero point five gallons. We're over halfway now. Be good on fuel. Four course yellow, pits are open. Zero point five gallons. I'm saying zero point five. Is making me a little nervous, but don't think it's gonna be an issue. Two to go here, I believe. Yes. Pete Road is closed right now. We're starting fifth on the inside. That uh, three that was a little aggressive around us must have gotten to that wreck. I heard him say something about it. He never did anything wrong, I don't think. He was just making me a little nervous because of how close he was. I want to make it clear, I wasn't complaining about him, just, uh, you know, some guys race a little closer. Makes me nervous. They don't get into you, no harm, no foul, then I guess. Are you guys going green this time? No. Zero point one gallons. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Zero point two gallons. Two gallons. We're gonna be lifting off later in a run as well, as the tires get older. Help us. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Race the regime at the end of this lap. We should have just enough fuel to get us to the end. Now we're getting just enough fuel message. I think we're okay. Alright, gotta uh, be ready to go now. We should have enough fuel to get to the end, but it'll be tight. Alright. Get ready, going green. Here we go. Post car is off. Best view there, but it's fine. Clear up top. Got 
car outside. Keep low. Stay low. Still there, hold your line. Ooh, that was weird, though. I don't think I've ever felt that one before. Mini ramp on the front straight. Still from behind, it looked like, in my peripheral vision. <laughs> Fan of that. Stay low. Clear up top. Outside. Outside. Clear. Is that clear as that guy got by us? Oh, well. It bumps poorly there. Hurt us through that corner. Zero point four, Alex. Ooh, that's not sounding so good, actually. Zero point four is back up. up a little bit. 13's getting real loose. Taking the low line or the middle line. Car inside. Okay. Still okay. inside. Clear. Hmm. Gosh, this guy. I don't think that's the first time he's scared me. Clear inside. 16. <laughs> oh, I'm walking. Mm, it's the first time it's felt a little bit of tight. Exiting the corner. Nothing unmanageable, though. Check in. Oh, there are three wide behind us. We'll check in on our field here in a moment. It's going for the pass. It's done. It's cutting it close, seven. Zero point one. I think we're still fine. Like I said, more lifting later in the run as the car gets tighter, so. Sixteen's all over the place. That guy is almost in the wall. That guy is in the wall. Outside. Clear outside if you want to. Hmm. Want some push. I wonder if that's arrow push because of that wall of cars in front of us. Go low, Chris. I know you're on push tires. Space behind, so we'll save some fuel. Lift off for the corners anyway. If you're okay for fuel, but there's not much to spare. Okay for fuel, not much to spare. Okay. I think I'm okay with clutching for now. I don't think I need to. I think I should be able to just uh, lift normally and drive as I would. We'll check in later. It's 16, man. 
Not a fan. Tighter now than it has always. Car inside. Stay high to yeah. the car on the low side. Be going by. Inside. Can't say I'm too upset about seeing him pass us. Still inside. Stay high. Got room behind this guy, so this. Still inside. Clear. It's falling. All right. Finally can take a moment to breathe. That was very intense for a long time. You got loads of fuel. Got loads of fuel. Okay. We're in the clear. So now we can uh, be nice to the tires. Let them uh, calm down a little bit. Let's see where we end up. Still a lot of race left, so I think we can uh, swing the tire advantage in our favor by being nice to it for a while. Police activity going on outside, I don't know what's going on with that. Trying to pass. Outside. So you've just done a two point seven. Go low. Still there, hold your line. Clear up top. Oh, Amen. Ahead is now not point one. There's enough race left that I think it'll be much better to be nicer to the tires right now than to try to get all I can. Second behind us. No hurry there. We have guys that are on fresher tires. That's probably a nice handful of the guys that are ahead of us right now. But I just couldn't take my last set of tires. It's, that would be too risky that early in the run. We could very well get another caution later on. Oh, I have the bumps poorly. The guy behind is now not protected. Yeah, I'm gonna want that extra set of tires. Drive down here, why not? <laughs> Got a little bit too low there. Okay. Later, you can go inside. I did it. My car is not there now. I stay outside there, there's no problem. You just done a 32.0. Yeah, I'm going to go. That's feeling pretty good. No longer getting tight now that I'm running the... running a little softer. 
Oh, Bob Lady. I push it. For these tires even out. That lap time was 32.0. What line do you want, 23? Be smooth, trying to be consistent. All we're doing right now is clicking off laps and waiting uh, for our speed to start uh, reversing compared to the guys ahead. And I got the bumps poorly there. Is that guy just sideways a sec for a second up there? Running hot there, don't dive in on me, please. Appreciate it. You reckon? And my screen bounced off the wall and we net coded, but my bad. Yeah, okay. He's pushing hard to try to get past me, I think. The way he's uh, going out towards the wall. It's time to start pushing a little harder. Oh, bad bombs there. It's not how to do it. Inside. Clear inside. What's on the wall? Yeah, my right rear is gone, dude. <laughs> right rear? Yeah, I wish my right rear was gone. <laughs> I think I like this cut down line. We're gonna start doing that now. Hey, bro, it's my first time ever driving these things. My bad. Cool car. session last lap go. <laughs> Why didn't I get it for the half of that lap? <laughs> that lap was at 31.9. Hmm. Yeah, bro, send it to my house. <laughs> An accident, we apologize, get over it. That last lap was at 32.0. They did come on inside. <laughs> well, I don't know if we're uh, going to be able to even the tires out. It's going to be good. Man, is this guy gonna try to dive in yet again? Having the nose on me. Get the nose on me, I'll give it to you, but I'm not just letting you 
drive it in there. Really insistent. I'm trying to just keep it launching it in there. Should have turned me if I could be tired. I second that even though I wouldn't want you guys to get wrecked. I would never want you guys to get wrecked. I think we're moving forward. This might be where we end up. Guess the play was to get tires. I mean, we could still get a caution here, but it doesn't seem likely. I'm fitting. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Happening. That's not very good, I'm sorry. Looks like you're the one that needs a mat. <laughs> what lane do you want when you get to me one? <laughs> hey, if you could just uh, give me the bottom, that'd be good. What are you Ooh, we got a guy in the wall or something up there? Looks like something happened. I was talking to the dude that asked where he wanted me. Yeah, okay. Alright, Colton, push down. We'll catch up here. Thanks. No problem. Is that serious? Why is he launching it so hard into the corner? How? What? In what universe would that ever work? Okay, you get past me in the corner, then what? Thank you, man. You're dog doo doo slow in the straightaway, and I'm just gonna pass you again. Like, not doing yourself any papers doing that. Catching fast on the nine, but I don't think we have long enough. I think we needed more laps. That wasn't good. Cool. I got tight at the wrong time. Two laps left. That lap was at the two card. Still there, hold your line. We're trying, that was a better attempt. You might get me. I think he's gonna get me. Clear inside. Hmm. Yeah, that was a whole lot of fun, man. Good win. Thanks, yeah, you took a risk. Well, he got me at the end there. Nice job, Josh. Thanks. I knew that was probably going to come down to probably which one of the three of us got out of the traffic first. All right, well, I moved forward like I said I wanted to. Well, that was fun, man. I appreciate the plane racing. Okay, we'll get him next time. Good one, Joshua.
Good win, one. Good win, brother. Good racing, guys. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, say my piece. Not twin, Josh. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God! Come on. Let me have a turn. Yeah, it was great racing eight. Uh, well done getting the pass done on me there at the end. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he did what he needed to do. It was a. Uh, I just got a little bit too tight in that one corner. I miss. Uh, I went in there a little hard, and it got him the run on the front stretch, and then he had enough of a, a nose on me to get the to get it uh, all the way through. So he did the job. So. I wasn't feeling too fast anyway, so I guess I can't feel too bad about P12. It's not great, especially at the number two, but it was a fun race. 46.59, um, but uh, I had to, had to keep that extra set of tires just in case, because we took the first two a little bit too soon, too early on, and uh, well, like I said, we moved forward. Apparently our setup had P18 speed for qualifying, although I was pretty bad anyway. Maybe if I could drive it a little better, it would be better, but, uh, yeah. I wonder if that little tiny bit of uh, damage hurt us at all. Not sure. Probably not. Anything it could have done was probably pretty minimal. So we'll see the incidents, and we'll see what it looked like, too. See if I could have given more room or not. Lap one, we're gonna see some loose race cars, I bet. Six is getting loose, four just comes up and hits the three. Instead of lifting off for the guy getting loose. This guy ended up being a lap car, so he's gotten damaged at some point. It's probably not the extent of it, right there. Why we saw that? Nothing. Small on entry. Yes, it is. That's another one. Yeah, we're getting in a habit of doing that. Okay, this is our incident here. Yeah, 18 just comes up and gets me. You see, this is basically the line to the top lane. I'm above it. He's not. Got me unsettled. I had to wheel it a little bit to make sure it was <laughs> staying the right direction, but... Yeah, 18 just uh, drifts up into me. Car got tight below me and he didn't want to lift out of it. And I get the X because he slides up into the inside and... Ooh, gets the wall real hard. And then he does not... Oh, yep, some more people were in it. He did not get on the brakes nearly soon enough. He's still rolling all the way up until he gets onto the track. That was not very well handled. And the uh, 10 pays for that. Fortunate for him. I thought I... I gave the most room I could. I can't get much closer to the wall than that on exit without getting into it. So... And then uh, I did hear there was an incident on pit road. And 19 was on the outside lane whenever he needed to... Well... Yeah, he needed to come across. So that's tough. And it just stops. In front of the other guy. Some awkward uh, pickling shenanigans. What are we seeing here? Not seeing anything. Loose my rear ending. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Ooh, okay, it wasn't. Oh, yep, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> so that was the three. Got into the back of the 11. So what happened here, it looks like the 11 got tight, maybe, running up there. And the three caught him real quick. And then just didn't lift for him. He gave him a bad bump from behind. He wasn't straight. I remember the three going like, really? Or whatever, but I mean, that's on him. 
We have a bad bump draft. And, uh, well, he got his own consequences. Couple guys in that one. Oh, yeah, let me see that from my perspective, because I was right behind this. Just a couple cars back. This is me saying, all right, it's calmed down a little bit. Nope. Eight goes to the inside. I see him spinning out there, so I just get below the apron. Slow it down, and we're fine. This guy's catching up after pitting, I guess. Not sure why we're seeing it. This is the guy we had to battle with at the end. It's just Neckode. 25's getting loose down there. Maybe the 24 is looking at it, and he gets into the wall. He's still out here. Okay, so maybe that wasn't what I remembered him reacting to. Although that was also him, so maybe I had good reason to be afraid of this guy driving so close. Because... Gotta slow down. It's not uh, 21's fault that he had to check up for the guy in front of him. So again, that's on the three. No blame but himself. He wrecked other people in the process. Could this guy have uh, slowed down a little better? Sure. Maybe. But probably not. I don't know where to go. Well, that'll take him out of the race. So he's done wrecking people, I guess. Uh, I don't know what this one's about. <laughs> I don't know. Four damage down there. Here's the number one. It drifts up a little bit, but the four is kind of running lane one and a half. Probably didn't expect the one to be there. Fifteen's tightening into the wall. I remember having to go around him. There we are clear him to go into three, and I can still get a somewhat decent angle into the corner. Wall on entry. Ah, pretend wall on entry. So, 22 was upset with this guy about this one. If I remember correctly. But it's him having to lift off because he's tight. That causes it. I mean, there's no real... It's hard to blame the 15, because you don't know he's going to lift that hard. I mean, you see there, that's... What you can do about that? I don't know what happened earlier. Or if more did happen earlier, but... I mean, that's just a tough situation. sooner call that a racing incident because you know you have to lift and not hit the wall because you're getting tight that's a tough spot to put the other guy into I'm never gonna see this again he too gets the worst of it yeah, I thought for a second we were stuck on the 22 now has damaged car Nothing. Nothing except maybe wall and entry or something, but uh, thing we need to see. Nine's gonna get the wall. He gets a wall good on entry. He got the wheel pretty solid. Seven's probably gonna get the wall here. Yep. Pushing hard, trying to catch the leader. Five inches low, and that's gonna make him really tight. That's what caused him to come up and hit the six. Might be seeing, uh, aside from the wall hits, that was a good one, a good solid wall hit. Uh, we might be seeing tires hitting a critical point. Fairly certain when it hits 50% or so. Um, 
it shows up in the incidents. So we hit below 50%, so I think it's showing up. That's just my theory. I don't know if that's true or not, but whenever we seem to get these uh, non-incidents, it usually seems to be in races or on long runs. The tire would normally hit a certain point. For example, this one here, nothing happened to him, but it's lap 87 near the end, he might have hit 50%. Now we're going to see a, a rash of them because everyone's kind of hitting that point. Only one letting the guy by because he's a lap car. Funny kind of squirrely on the straightaway, not sure what that's about. It's gonna get in the wall, maybe. Nah. It's like he's just running a high line. Looks like for fifth place. Doesn't look like anything. Very, very tight. They have to lift, up, lift off hard, I think, to not get in the wall. Bing. I think this is all like on the last lap, we're seeing all this. And the one celebrating the victory. We got it done. So, uh, probably below average race for us. Wealth. But we moved forward after a pretty sad qualifying run. And uh, we didn't quite get the strategy right. We didn't end up needing that last set of tires. But uh, would have been quite risky, I think riskier not to take, or to take that uh, last set of tires. So it just didn't quite uh, pan out how I would have needed. That means that we got 12th, but that's fine. Uh, still was a pretty good race. Almost got 11th, got passed at the end there. We can watch that real quick as well. So here I'm in front of them. This is after uh, that corner where I had to lift off because I didn't enter correctly. Entered a little bit too hard, because I didn't want him to dive on my inside. So he uh, made me overdrive it. See, I had to lift just a bit there. That means that he's going to get a run on us. So. It's down there, and he's close enough. I know he's going to send it. And I kind of want to try to protect using the higher line anyway. So that had been working up to that point. But, uh... I think his tires are better than ours at this point, maybe. Because he sticks it down on the low line. I do my best to fight out here, but uh, you can see, trying to hold him off. It's not enough grip to get it done. Still get a decent run off the top line. Side by side. Going through the tri-oval, but uh, he's basically got me cleared at this point. I give one last-ditch effort here, but he clears me. And that was... uh. That was all she wrote. Only attempt uh, here on this last lap. I had to hope that uh, like I pitched it real good or something and somehow got it to grip and turn and get a really good run, but uh, I just didn't have enough left in the tires to make it work. So he got it done. He made a clean pass, so uh, can't feel bad about it. He raced me well, and uh, we had some good intense racing. Uh, hopefully it was pretty entertaining at least, even if the finish wasn't too great. Average to below average, but... Maybe uh, an above-average race, race in terms of uh, entertainment, hopefully. But that'll do it for here at uh, Las Vegas. Might be the last time I'm here for this week. Thinking, just thinking about doing an A-Open race. Or maybe NIS if I happen to be racing when it goes off. But uh, just thinking about it. If I do run it, I would be running Nick's, like... Uh, forum built setup they worked together and made something that might be uh the only time i would run that just uh, out of curiosity see how it goes but uh if not that'll be it for las vegas this week thanks for watching and uh i hope you have a good one see ya